Are these guys friendly? Hey, buddy. Pick up. Pick him up. Oh, wow. His mouth. He's got some sharp teeth. Does that thing bite? What? Oh, they don't like that. Okay, here, here. I'll put him back down. Welcome everybody to Subnautica Below Zero. I am an old guy gaming and I have very much been looking forward to playing this game. Um, I have not played it at all while it was in early access and I haven't watched anybody else play it either. So this is going to be a brand new experience uh, for me. Uh, because Subnautica is a very story driven game, please do not uh, give me any spoilers at all. Uh, in the comments really appreciate that uh, i did play the first game uh, all the way through to the end and thoroughly enjoyed it and uh, so now we're going to play subnautica below zero and hopefully have the same amount of fun that we had the first time all right so first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn that music down because it is a little bit loud ah uh, so let's see where is the music okay let's turn that down to maybe half we'll try that and we'll see how that goes and then um, let's hit play, start a new game. And we're just going to do a survival game for our first time through. Uh, so, yeah, let's click that. There we go. This is going to be awesome. <laughs> so at the end of the the last game, you know, we went up into to space, but then something bad happened. And we, I believe we crash landed back down on the planet, if I remember right, or something like that. It's been It's been a couple of years. Since I played Subnautica last. Okay, here we go. This is the farthest that I could take you on company space bucks, Robin. You sure you want this? The research is in everything. It is to me. And Sam. I need to know what happened. The meteor storm. I can use it for cover from Altera's eyes. <sighs> Gonna miss you, Robin. I'll find my way back. Whoa. Unknown World's Entertainment presents. Approaching 45, 46 feet. Surface temperatures. Drop pod deployed. No. Oh, that could have gone worse. your stay <laughs> yeah all right so there's like a huge meteor storm going on um looks like we're losing heat too from the temperature so i guess we're supposed to man this is loud okay hold on hold on this is like seriously loud <laughs> i need to turn the sound down just a little bit uh let's just turn the whole master volume down maybe to 80 we'll try that um, all right, so my guess is we're supposed to be running towards our drop pod. Oh, shit. Looks that did not go as planned. I should find a way into the water and get to the drop pod. Well, this thing keeps me warm. Check this out. Wow, awesome. Okay, I didn't know if that was going to be hostile or not. Okay, remember, guys, this is the very first time I have even seen this game let alone played it you know i have not watched anybody else play it at all not even like for 30 seconds so yeah totally new experience if i get too oh ouch i was gonna say <laughs> if i get too close to touch that thing is it gonna burn yeah okay so let's go this way so the drop pod is 207 meters off through here she said we need to get into the water and get to the drop pod. So I'm assuming that uh, we don't want to be on the land right at the moment. You know, the last time I played this too, um, 
Well, after I had finished the actual series, um, I had new creature discovered. Um, I had I actually played it in virtual reality for a little bit too, and it was just crazy. New blueprint synthesized. Filtered water and air bladder. Okay. So let's go. Oh man, we're swimming slow. Is there a third person view? I can't remember. I don't think there is. Oxygen. Oh, yep, we gotta breathe. <laughs> it's kind of important. Here's one of them little penguin thing madoodles. Are these guys friendly? Hey buddy. Pick up pick him up. Oh wow, his mouth he's got some sharp teeth. Does that thing bite? What? Oh, oh, they don't like that. Okay, here, here. I'll put them back down. Yeah, they didn't appreciate me picking up their kid. Oh, shit, it's cold. Okay, back in the water. Wouldn't it be, like, seriously cold in this water, though, too? <laughs> I guess it's... I guess it's warmer in here. Yep, good old Subnautica, man. This hall looks... Looks familiar. This is cool. Oh, man, I'm gonna have so much fun playing this, you guys. It's gonna be awesome. I don't know how many hours it took me to get through the first game. It, uh, I spent, I took my time with it though. I didn't, you know, just rush through it from beginning to end. So, and just like I said, really enjoyed it. Okay, so this is our drop pod. Let's take a look and see what we need to do. This all looks familiar. You know, the nice, the nice thing about this too is it's it's voice acted now, whereas before I don't I don't well that I know there was some voice acting but not by your own character if i remember i could be wrong about that though actually i could be wrong about that okay let's take a look so inventory we've got a bladder fish gotcha okay uh we have several blueprints here that we apparently already know how to make and then we learned filtered water okay beacon manager is our drop pod screenshots yeah this all looks the same um this will replay what she said. Holy smokes. That did not go as planned. Okay, cool. Um, I should find a way into the water and get to the drop pod. Okay, and then this is logs and communications, memos and miscellany, the future of Zeno works. This is from Sam. Survival. Oh, in tech equipment. Okay. So here's the thing, guys. We're going to take our time and smell the flowers with this playthrough. I'm not going to necessarily read through every single thing, but anything that's story related, we are, we're going to take the time and read it. So, you know, if that uh, is not something that all of you like, then, you know, you can just fast forward uh, to after we're done reading because uh, we're going to take our time with it. All right. So let's uh, read this first. The Future of Xenoworks from Jack Isis. Or no, Isis Jack. Sorry. Subject, the future of Zenoworks. Hey there, Zeno workers. I know there's been lots of rumors circulating, so I just wanted to clear some stuff up in the spirit of openness and transparency, which you know means a lot to us all here. First of all, no, Altera did not buy us. We're still Zenoworks. We're not going to move offices or start having some kind of hierarchical structure or even like, you know, making you show up on site or anything like that, although you should for the snacks alone. We're still the scrappy, agile, research-first startup you all signed on to. So what does this controlling stake stuff mean? Well, I guess the most direct way to put it is that it means more. More equipment, more research, more risk, more experimentation, more of everything. That makes us great. And most of all, more cash for you and your research. And yes, snacks. Lena will be in touch pretty soon about exchanging your old gin Xenoworks PDAs for snazzy new Altera upgrades. And to help you get comfy with some really minor policy changers. Yeah, right. Uh, that are going to help us keep everything running nice and smooth going forward. So yeah, congratulations everyone. We did this together and now we're going to be able to do so much more. Cheers. Isis Jacks, communication specialist, Zenoworks. Okay, so we're using a Zenoworks PDA here. So apparently we're going to get an upgraded Altera one later on. Interesting. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and read about Sam. I'm sorry about your sister. Oh, we can listen to this one. I want to offer my sincerest condolences on the passing of your sister. I got to know Sam better 
towards the end of my mandate with Altera on 4546B, when we were thrown together as basemates at Outpost Zero. She spoke often and fondly of you. I thought you should know. It didn't sit right with me when Altera blamed Sam's death on negligence. The Samantha Ayu I met was many things. Kind, clever, devoted to her work, but never negligent. I wish I could offer you something more substantial, but my access to information has been cut off. You may be in a better position to look into things than I am. If you're able to, Delta Station was our HQ. They were in a big hurry to leave, and there might still be information to be found there. It has a big radio tower, impossible to miss. I hope you find the answers you seek. Lillian Bench. Okay, so one question I have, and you can answer this in in the comments without giving any major spoilers away, is, is, is this not tied in at all with the first game? Is this like a completely new story with a completely new set of characters? Uh, because I don't remember anybody named Sam or Robin, uh, you know, in the first game. So, yeah, you can answer, you can let me know that if you want to. Okay, notice of death, dear Miss Ayu, on behalf of Zeta Landon, four five four six B robotic section leader and Indra Cormac, president of Altera Transgov, I regret to inform you that the death of Samantha, uh, inform you of the death of Samantha Ayu. She died on planet forty five forty six B, regrettably, as the result of injuries sustained in an accident arising from her own negligence. Please allow me to communicate the most profound condolences for the loss of your sister. While further details are unavailable at this time, you will receive contact from the Department of Insurance and Recuperation concerning your responsibilities as next of kin with regards to repayment of damages and legal fees. Oh, great. Yeah, that's just what I wanted to hear. Uh, if you have any questions, you may file form blah, 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 and your query will be addressed in sequential order. Sincerely, Emmanuel Desjardins, 4546B, Communications Liaison, Altera Transgub. Sam, message one. Okay, so these we can listen to. Robin, guess what? I got the job. I'm going to 4546B. Now I'll be able to improve the mechanical avian amphibian under real-world stress conditions. Listen, I know your stance on Altera, but I just hope you're happy your sis is happy. I sure hope my sis is happy. <laughs> I can't wait till we talk again. Oh, I wanted to ask you something. Can you watch my Augie while I'm away? I need someone I can trust to look after my best little potato. <laughs> potato, listen. I tried, but that name is just not sticking. He's my little extra bite. I'll leave the starchy tubers nicknames to you. Anyway, if you say yes, thanks, baby sis. Love you. Hmm. Okay. Okay, hold on just a minute, guys. Gotta respond to a text here. Okay, same message too. 4546B to Robin. Come in, Robin. <laughs> Remember when we used to play old timey space explorer? This is kind of like that, but it's even harder to communicate. <laughs> well, let's see. I got your last message. Altera is not, as you put it, all terrorizing me. Things are going well. My project has a new name. Say goodbye to the mechanical avian amphibian. And hello to spy penglings. penglings. We're training the bots to mimic the creatures. Check out the photo. And I think I'm kind of seeing someone. I know it's not like me to just find a date. 
let alone on a mostly uninhabited water planet, but... Actually, you know what? Forget I said anything. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's probably not even a real thing, but... Anyway, um... I'm sorry to hear Xenoworks might be strapped in the revenue department. Sounds like they still have you busy Xeno-working, though. I know there's no way to guarantee an alien intelligence startup will succeed, but you've put so much into it. I hope they find a way to keep going. I know how much it means to you, getting to work at a small place where you have control over your research. All right, I gotta go. Later, baby sis. Love you. Okay, Sam, message three. Hey, Robin, I, I got your Augie photo. Thanks so much for taking care of him, even though he's a cranky pot. Hey, the nickname actually fits that way, a cranky potato. I know he can be a handful, but I really appreciate it. I'm a bit worried about my other baby, the mission. One of my penglings found something, something big. But Altera is just like, nothing to see here, honestly. Kind of glad you can't answer, so you can't, you know, rub it in my face. Go ahead, bask in the fact that you were a little bit right about them. My project is on the line. My job, my safety. Um, I heard about Xenoworks getting bought. I'm sorry. But at least you still have your job. Guess you're one of us now. Like it or not, welcome to the Altera family. I, I should probably go before I say something I regret. Love you. Keep your chin up. Eye on the alien prize. Okay, message four. Hey, Robin. <sighs> I'm sorry my last message was so awful. I've been under a lot of stress. I'm not sure what's going on with anything. I can't really talk about it either. Oh, and I'm definitely not dating anyone on this water planet. Don't know what I was thinking there. Have I told you how cold it is here? Get this. I can't even get my wash and go dry before the wind freezes the moisturizer in my hair. Wild, right? Well, anyway. I'm sure you're mad at me after what I said. But I, I could really use a friend. You're my sister. I love you. I'm sorry. Hmm. I don't remember her saying anything that sounded offensive, but maybe she did. Hey, Robin. I really need someone to know. I'm afraid something terrible is going to happen. You were completely right about Altera, okay? You were right. I was wrong. And the cat should be called Potato. I admit it. <laughs> Mm, sorry. Bad attempt at a joke. I, I just... I don't know what to do. I guess I should just come out and say it at this point. I've said this much already. We found a frozen leviathan that's infected with Kara. Altera thinks they can use it for something. Weapons, experimental treatments, a whole range of things. But one end of the range is... ugly. Dangerous. But, but profitable, of course. What if it gets out while we're messing around with it? Or worse, what if it ends up a bioweapon in the wrong hands? I, I hope I'm overreacting, but I don't think I am. Anyway, message me back, please. I could really use a friend. You're my sister. I love you. All right. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so this survival stuff is, um, yeah. Let's let's just go through this really quick. Uh, welcome to the adventure mode, Zenoworka. You have arrived in an Arctic climate. Your great expedition begins. Your Zenoworka PDA is equipped to monitor your temperature and vital signs. Since you have downloaded the Arctic Survival Almanac, it will also dispense advice from time to time. For the benefit of future adventures, your device will also record observations and findings you make. Survival checklist: Retreat to a safe environment. Administer first aid if required. Retrieve emergency supplies if available. Survey the environment for threats and resources. Find or construct a reliable habitat. Construct necessary survival equipment using the habitat's fabricator. Locate other survi survivors using line of sight or the radio. Maintain physical and um, psychological health uh, until rescue. Okay, so does that mean there's other, like, NPCs that I'll be able to interact with on here? That's kind of cool because you're always by yourself. 
in the first game. Um, that's on arrival. This is on the surface. Okay, adventurers exploring the surface in cold weather climates are advised to take additional precautions. High winds can result in rapid onset of hypothermia. Keep an eye out for natural shelter or restorative hot springs. If wearing a standard issue AEP suit, bodies of water may provide safety from extreme cold. Unexpected detours occur. You never know how long you'll be away from home base. Remember to pack a lunch and a toasty hot beverage if possible. We can't say this enough. Layers. Investing in a quality cold suit is certain to pay dividends in warmth and safety. Remember, when in doubt, don't go out. All right, very cool. So I think that's it. Um, this is like equipment stuff. Emergency. Starvation imminent. Save mm. calorie intake immediately. Okay, starvation. This is the repair tool. Look, this all looks pretty familiar, you know, to the original game. Fabricator, yeah, yeah, habitat builder. Uh, don't see anything really different here uh, from before. Okay, so I think that's the same. If you know, I ran into something weird where I might need uh, some information, I might look at that later. But I think uh, we've gone through all the logs. Now, that's my own voice log, and yeah, we're good to go. So this six here... What does that mean? That just oh, that just means we have new stuff to make. Oh yeah, I wonder if that it added this to my blueprints after I looked at that. That um. Uh, how do I get out of the menu? Well, oh tab. Sam, okay. I guess I might as well gather some tools and resources before starting my search. Hope that radio tower is as easy to spot as Lil said. She must be talking to. Uh, cooked. Food. Cooked bladder fish. She must be talking to her dead sister, like just kind of in her head, kind of thing, I'm guessing. Alright, so how do we eat the food? Equipment, blueprints, inventory. Here we go. Cooked bladder fish. Consume. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay, I'm gonna have to remember to cook uh, or press tab to get out. So this is a storage thing. All right, that's a decent size storage, but I, some some of the larger stuff takes up more space. <laughs> I'm going to be hitting that a million times. All right, well, I guess the first thing we need to do then is get get some food going and, you know, start making some stuff, resources. Um, at some point, I think we're going to probably want to go back out on the... Um, on the iceberg and, and look around there for stuff too. But right now, let's just start going after uh, resources here. So I remember breaking limestone. Should Pick be able to use this. Titanium. Bullseye shroom. That doesn't actually do anything. I don't have any. I don't have any tools at all. Okay, so yeah, we're just gonna need to get some resources here. It'll take me a little. It'll take me a little while to to get used to things again. But uh, I think the first thing we need to do is catch catch some more fish. Oh wow! I don't even see the land now. Oh my goodness! It's probably just really foggy out. We're not that far away from it. I think it's over that way because there's some icebergs over there. Okay, let's go catch some fish because we need to eat. Here's a boomerang. Come here, buddy. Can we not catch him? We're probably too slow. Come here. Where'd you go? There we go. New creature discovered. New life form discovered. All right, let's grab a couple more fish whilst we're out here. For more food. I don't think we can grab these Oxygen. little... Yeah, 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 working on it. We can't grab the little fish. We used to be able to pick up the sponge things. We needed enough to make batteries and things like that, as I remember. So yeah, it doesn't let me do anything with the shrooms. What about these thing madoodles? Nope. Do we have a, a kelp forest like we did before? Kind of looks that way. Nearby. Oh, so the cache is is detected nearby. Okay, let's go get some get some air here. These are some interesting looking thingamadoodles here. I think we want to be careful of the shark things. Okay, we got a poop fish. But uh, the kelp 
I remember the kelp used to have the yellow bulb things on it that we needed to make like rubber and stuff like that. So let's um, let's just take a quick look at that real quick. Oh, we got an iceberg. Don't know if I like the sound of whatever that is. This game can really uh, invoke some some fear for anybody who is afraid of deep water. The technical term for that is bathophobia, in case you didn't know that, by the way. All right, are these the things we need? Yeah, creep vine seed clusters. New okay. blueprint synthesized. Lubricant. Yep, that's right. I remember lubricant. These look these look Oxygen. a little different than they used to, though. Okay, let's get up, up above here. Now that guy's all the way up to the surface. There's the land. Okay, let's go back down. Seek fluid intake. Now we're thirsty. Are these guys friendly? What are the what are these dudes? They don't seem to be hostile. I I think I need like a scanner kind of thing to to tell what those guys are. Let's grab a few more of these. Oh, inventory wait, inventory's full? Oh, that's right. Those are big. I forgot about that. Okay. Let's go back to our our pod and um, make some more food here. And oxygen. Yep, working on it. And then we're gonna need to um, get some more of those bladder fish because I think that's how we get water, if I remember right, in the early game. Oh, I'm so back to uh, so back. <laughs> I'm so glad to be back in Subnautica, you guys. This is just awesome. Uh, do we have room to pick up some more of this stuff? Is that one of those underwater vents, or is that something else? I don't know. Not sure. Oh, look. That's got, like, its own little solar panel. That's kind of neat. Oxygen. Okay, so let's use the fabricator. Emergency. Starvation imminent. Seek calorie intake immediately. Okay, so do either one of these give us... Um, hydration? Cooked food. Cooked... Hoop fish. And what is this going to do? This is going to make basic materials, silicon, rubber, and lubricant. Okay, let's make some of this. And let's make some of this. Just to uh, free up some space. Electronics. What can we make? Copper wire. Okay, let's make some copper wire. We're going to need all of this stuff, so we might as well just make it. Basic materials. I think we'll turn the rest of this into... Rubber and lubricant. We'll just kind of go back and forth until we use up all the creep vine thingamadoodles. Man, how much creep vine did we get? Okay, that's it. Now, what is what can we do here? Equipment... Fins, yeah, let's make those because those will help us swim faster. And, uh, okay, and this is a knife. Yeah, let's make a knife. There we go. All right, so we're doing a little bit better than we were before. I think the very next thing we need to do, though, is we need to... Gonna, Seek fluid intake immediately. Yeah, we need to get something to drink. So let's put that stuff in there. We're going to put the knife down uh, in our toolbar, which is already there. The rest of the stuff we can just put in here for now. Uh, all right. So let's eat. No. Whoops, I did it again. I'm going to do that a million times. So get used to it. <laughs> uh, oh, that's right. This stuff spoils too. So that gives 20 food and two, 22. Okay, let's eat this one. Vital signs stabilizing. That gave us a little bit of hydration, so, okay, good. Now we're going to be able to swim a little bit faster. Um, so right now we just need to, we need to find bladderfish. That's what we need to do. So let's look for bladderfish. And, you know, we'll, we'll grab other types of fish too just because, um, come here. Seek fluid intake immediately. I'm working on it. There we go. We got a peeper, but we need bladderfish. 
nice when we can swim just a little bit faster, that's for sure. Emergency, oh yeah, we gotta go check out that emergency supply cache too. Where the hell's the bladder fish at? They're probably hanging out somewhere nearby, I just gotta figure out where they are. Oxygen. Okay, let's get some O2. I wonder if there's like fresh water on the island that we could get to. Oh look, the penguin guy's down here. Okay, come on, bladder fish. Look at my knife, man. Awesome. How do I... Oh, I right-click to use it. Okay. There's a bladder fish. Okay. We got him. We need to get a few more of those, though. One's not going to be enough. There's one. Oxygen. Okay, let's get some O2. Oh, we've got land over there and over there. Okay, interesting. Let's grab a peeper. Do we still have crash fish? I hope we still have crash fish. Crash fish are awesome. Well, unless they blow up in your face. What's this? This is, uh, quartz. Okay, yeah, we'll grab that. We need to, uh, as soon as possible, we need to make a tank so we can stay under longer. So that'll be the next... Whoops. Uh, that'll be the next... Oxygen. Um, goal for us after we get our water and food situation under control. Oh, it's getting dark. Oh! What? Oh no, I ran out of air! <laughs> I was gonna say, man, night nighttime comes on fast! Holy crap! I ran out of air. That wasn't good. We'll just pretend like we had a really bad dream, and that's, you know, that we just had a bad dream. That's all it was. We're fine. We're absolutely fine. Wow, we lost a lot of our fish, though. Even though it was a bad dream, we still lost our fish. Kind of sucks. Filtered water. Oh, we okay. Yeah, that's how we make the water. All right. Well, doggone it. I'm. I'm. I should have paid attention. Obviously. <laughs> um. I guess the good news is we got our, some food and water back from dying, which is not exactly what I had planned, but it is definitely getting darker out. All right. Well, let's do this again. Grab some fish. Grab some quartz. Dang, man, we lost a lot of stuff. Can you get that stuff back? I don't remember. Okay, we need bladder fish. Need bladder fish. Where'd that other one go? I saw another bladder fish. Where'd he go? Uh, not sure. Come here. Oxygen. Yeah. Okay. I'll get oxygen this time. There's a bladder fish. And there's a bladder fish. I know we don't want to, like, collect a bunch of these because they will go bad, but that's probably good enough right now for us to, um, you know, make some water to drink and stuff. Though we're actually not in bad shape right at the moment since we died. Can't believe we died, man. What the hell? What the hell? Okay, let's go in here. We're going to make water. Nice. Okay. And then cooked boomerang. We're just going to cook all of these guys. And we're going to eat until our our food is all the way back. And then we'll, we'll be good. Then we need to start thinking about doing air next. Okay. So uh, we, ha we have 87 hydration. So let's not worry about that yet. The peeper gives us 32 food. Oh, okay, so the peeper's the best. That's right, I kind of remember that now. The peeper's actually the best fish in the noob zone, or one of the better fishes anyways. That's an arctic peeper, though. Okay, so we're at full food, a little over, actually. Can you overeat? 
Hmm, I don't know. And our hydration is not bad, but we've got four things of water, so we're in good shape uh, in that regard. Let's go to our storage here. And we're going to put the quartz in there, and we're going to keep the rest of this stuff with us. There we go. Hitting the freaking uh, escape key again. Okay, let's go back out. Oh, actually, hold on. Let's go back in. <laughs> I want to see... Um, what do we need to make a waterproof locker? Right, that's for storage. What we want to do is we need to make a uh, an air tank. So compass, here we go. So we need titanium and fiber mesh. Gotcha. Okay, how do we make fiber mesh? Resources, electronics, basic materials. Oh, we need creep fine sample. And I think we need uh, the knife for that, which we have. Okay. So, we are going after creepvine samples. That supply cache, we should go see if we can get to that. I'm not sure if we can or not, but we'll, we'll try it. Well, let's go get some creepvine samples so we can make the mesh, and we also need to find some more titanium, too. New blueprint synthesized. I don't know how much of this we're supposed to get. What's our inventory look? Oh, it's full. <laughs> Oxygen. It's full. We done filled up, man. Okay, let's head back. We're going to have to process all this creep vine into uh, fiber mesh. Come here. And then um, we need a little more titanium. I think I might have stored some titanium. Oh, are those those um kind of uh, whale thingamadoodles that have the you know the poison stuff that they squirt out? Kind of sounds like it. Okay, so let's make a bunch of fiber mesh. Excellent. We will put the fiber mesh in here. But let's grab some titanium. Is that enough to make the tank? Oh, no. We need one more titanium. Okay. We can make a first aid kit, but let's not worry about that right now. We need. We just need to go get some more titanium. It dark out here, man. It dark. While we're out here, we might as well grab another bladder fish or two. Come here. Okay, so we need to look for the little titanium node things. Limestone gives us copper and titanium. Okay, that's enough for us to get an air tank. So let's go back and get ourselves an air tank. And we'll get ourselves another one of you, too. Oxygen. Yep, yep, working on it. That was funny, man. <laughs> it was like earlier. How come it's getting so dark? Uh, because you're dying. <laughs> Can't take me anywhere. Can't take me anywhere. Okay. So let's go here and here. And look at that. We can make an air take. Yeah, yes. Now we'll be able to stay down longer. Blueprints to your data bank. And we have a repair tool. The standard oxygen tank can be upgraded for deluxe and VIP breathing. VIP breathing. <laughs> Very important breathing, yes. That's funny, man. Okay. Well, what else we got here? So this is going to need rubber, crystalline sulfur, and titanium. Okay, we're going to need to make a battery and some get some glass, which I think we can make from the quartz. We're going to need coral and gold for the computer chip. And silver. Yep, I remember all of this. Ribbon... Oh, we need ribbon plant and copper ore to make a battery. Okay, let's go out and start looking for that stuff. So what the hell's a ribbon plant? That's new. You used to get the sponges for the batteries. We're going to have to see if we can figure out what a ribbon plant is. Is this a ribbon plant? Oh, that doesn't do anything. What about this thing? Nope. Okay, let's go this way. 
So if we get down in here, this is sometimes where you will find crash fish. Got some more quartz, which we can use to make glass. Titanium. Do I have a light? Oh, what did we just pick up? Lead. Oh, lead's new. Did we have lead before? I don't remember having lead before. Maybe we did. I don't know. I just don't remember it. You come here. Okay, so we already tried to do something. Can we do anything with these? Oxygen. Okay, so we did harvest something. What? Oh, that looks like maybe what we're after down there. What did we just get, though? Bullseye shroom piece. An edible mushroom piece. Oh, wow. It's like a snowstorm out here. Okay, what was that thing that I saw? Like, yeah, this thing here. Isn't this what we need for the battery? Yeah, Ribbon, ribbon plants plant. contain electrolytic materials that can be used in energy storage. Nice. Electrolytical. I'm all about electrolytical. Okay, let's go back to our, our place here, because... Yeah, we, hit, we still have some inventory. Thing is, is these guys... Actually, no, I don't think they go bad until we start cooking them. These give, um, water. But what happens if you overeat? I don't know. Oh, it's not going beyond 103. So I'm just going to take these to get, get some water back so we can save our actual waters for later. All right, we don't need to go back yet. We're doing fine. We're doing good. Let's go see if we can find some more of those electrolytical things for more batteries, because we're going to need lots of batteries. Here we go, electrolytical. Oxygen. Oh, oxygen, gotcha. Oh, man, this is fun, you guys. I'm just so enjoying this. This game is just awesome. Just fan freaking tastic Okay. Okay, I think what we want to do is we needed to find, like, sulfur... Um, and of course we pretty much just need more ores in general. I wonder if we should try and go towards that that beacon thing and see if it's something that we can actually do something with. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, more titanium. We're gonna need tons of that. Man. I really, uh, I'd like to try this with my VR glasses. The problem with, oh, replenish oxygen. Problem with VR for videos, though, is it, it doesn't really work very well for making videos. Because what you guys see. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Replenish oxygen. Did we get all of our O2? No, only some. Ooh, it's kind of green down here. Uh, all right. Let's be careful. Let's be careful. We didn't get full O2 back. Anyway, yeah, when you try and record stuff on VR, like for YouTube, it's it just it doesn't really work very well. Because I, I actually did a series on No Man's Sky a couple years ago, a year and a half ago. And I did it in VR, and it's just, I don't know, it gives people motion sickness, and it doesn't work too well. And I want to play this game with you guys. So, ooh, what's this? A Sea Glide Fragment. How do I... Oh, that's right, I need the... I need a tool to pick these things up. Okay. Well, I'm sure we'll be coming back this way many times. I don't like the sound of that. Do not like the sound of that. Say. So let's just keep gathering minerals. Uh, we do need to find... At some point, we need to find some silver and some... Sulfur. There's more sea glide parts. Those will be handy. Or, or that, rather, will be handy to make. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen All remaining. right. And we're going back up. Back up to the surface. All right. Let's look at our inventory. It's starting to get full, but it's not super full. We've got a, a nice little supply of copper and titanium. One thing of lead and a bunch, and well, not a bunch, a couple things of quartz. This fish is starting to go bad. Um, we will lose water if we eat this. 
Um, but we'll still get 23 food, which we don't really need. So I think I'm just going to chuck that. Yeah, that doesn't last long. But what we can do, of course, is we can... We can salt it when we can find salt, and then that, you know, preserves it. Okay, those are the sea glide parts. We're probably going to have to go a little further away from the base to find silver and sulfur, I'm guessing. Because limestone seems to give copper and titanium. And maybe occasionally lead, unless we hit something else to get that lead, I don't remember. Uh, there's a hole down there. There's a hole, there's a hole. There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. Oh, this is a Galena outcrop. What did we get from that? More copper? Really? From a Galena outcrop? We're supposed to get something else. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen okay. remaining. I'm going back up. That's just... That's the downside to the early game is you have to keep going up to the surface for air. All right, how are we doing inventory-wise? We still have a little room left. Okay, let's go. Let's just keep gathering minerals until, you know, we're pretty full. Um, we'll pick up a couple more of those, and we have enough copper, too, to make batteries. So we got batteries covered, I think. I wonder what else you get from those Galena outcropping thingamadoodles. Okay, we're getting kind of deep here. Warning. 30 seconds oh, of oh oxygen shit. remaining. We're like really deep. This is going to be tight. No, we're okay. We're okay. As long as we just keep moving up to the surface, we should be fine. I think. Yeah, we're fine. Look at that big old thing right there. Ooh, there's uh, some kind of structure over here. Let's go take a look at it. Maybe we can find some fat loots or something. Look at this. Oh, that doesn't look safe. Okay, how do we get up there? Okay. So you guys aren't going to, like, mess with me if I don't mess with you. Is that what the deal is? How do I get on this thing? Hmm. It's almost, it almost looks kind of, oh, there's a ladder right there. Okay. Wait, what? There we go. All right, so we've got a broken something something there. Can we open up any of this cargo? We've got a coffee maker. That's a good thing to have out in the middle of the Arctic Ocean. Here we go, container and a flare. Uh, don't need a stupid flare. A nutrient block. That's not bad. We'll take that. All right, let's go back in the water. Back in the water. Ooh, there's stuff down here. A couple of crates, some more sea glide parts. Yeah, we're gonna have to we gotta go make that scanner thing a doodle. For sure. First aid kit? That doesn't suck. What about this? Disinfected water. Okay, that gives us more water than just the raw stuff. Ooh, what is that red thing? Is that like the new version of the crash fish? Hmm, I don't know, but we don't have a lot of O2 to be going in there yet. We're going to have to investigate 20, it, though, but we, seconds of oxygen we need a full remaining. tank of O2 before we go down there. Uh, who put that iceberg there? Okay, let's go back down into this hole here. Let's see what that red thing is. It almost looks like an egg. I remember you used to be able to get the eggs from the first game. How much room do we have? Oh, we have one space left. Okay. Yeah, I think it's time for us to go 
back. Okay, is this a crash fish thing or is this just an egg? Uh, oh no, that's a uh, table curl. We need that. We need that uh, for a processor. Okay, um, that's it, right? Yep, that's it. Okay, it's time. No, nope, don't go that way. Time for us to go back to our little hidey hole. That's kind of a neat little platform they have down there. And make some stuff. So we know we can make batteries now. And we have uh, some of the ingredients, at least, that we need to make processors. So let's head back to our little base here and see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. Um, is there anything we can get rid of? Well, we need to drink, so let's drink that. In fact, let's drink two filtered waters. What do we get? Just more titanium? All right, the, you would think those would give something special, but they don't. Can we harvest ice off these things? Nope. Oh man, I want to go. I want to go deeper. Deeper and further out. We will. We will. We just have to be prepared, that's all. We have to be prepared, just like uh, the song in The Lion King. Be prepared. First movie my daughter ever saw was The Lion King in the theater. It's the cutest thing ever, man. She was probably, I don't know, at the time, three years old, four years old, something like that. This is Pix, by the way. Those Some of you know who Pix is. And uh, anyway, we were in the theater, and it was dark, right? Because the movie started. And... She she was like tugging on my arm. She was going, Dad, I can't see my Skittles. <laughs> I was saying, that's okay, honey. You don't need to see them. Just eat them. Uh, it was the cutest thing ever, man. Uh, she cried too, you know, when uh, when uh, Mufasa died. So it was sad. Uh, but yeah, it was good. It was a lot, good memory. Good memory. Okay. Anyway, back to back to this. What can we make here? We can make a waterproof locker. Okay, let's keep that in mind. But first, um, we needed glass for something. Uh, let's make let's make a battery. We know we're gonna need a battery. Um, and before we do anything else up here, let's go back to this. So for the scanner tool, flashlight, flare, air bladder. Oh, the air bladder is the thing that takes us to the surface really quickly. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's make the scanner. That's what we need. Excellent. Okay. All right. I have a scanner. All right. Press tab to view. What? Oh, I have to get out of the thing. Okay, so our scanner is here. Oh, does this have like a durability? Oh, no, that's a charge. Okay. So we'll put the scanner in that spot there. Sounds like it's raining. What's that noise? Oh my goodness, this is some serious weather. Okay, yeah, let's stay into the water where it's safer. <laughs> Good lord, that's like one hell of a rainstorm. It's like a Colorado summer afternoon rainstorm. Uh, okay, so um, let's not put anything here yet. Let's go back to here. So equipment. So we can make a floating air pump. We can make a pipe. Chain of pipes can be used to transport breathable air from a... No, we don't need that stuff right now. That's for later on when we start building. So I'd like to make a repair tool, but we need crystalline sulfur for that. We could make a flashlight, so let's do that. Let's make some glass. I, I just love the crafting in this game, too. It's just fun. I don't know, you know? It's just kind of fun. It's different, but it's fun. Um. All right, what else did we need for the flashlight? Oh, and we needed to make another battery. Okay, so let's do electronics. Let's do another battery. Now we should be able to make the flashlight. There we go. All right. Got ourselves a flashlight. 
Now, do we need a waterproof locker? Probably, but is there anything else we should make? It probably wouldn't be a bad idea to floating device that pumps air into pipes acts as a starting point for a pipe chain. Oh, no, no, that's... Yeah, that's not what I th was thinking of. This is what I was thinking of. Um, to make the air bladder... Yeah, let's make one of those just in case I get myself into trouble. So we're going to need some rubber. Okay. So we'll make one of those. If you are tired of hearing the word oxygen, the air bladder provides a significant upward thrust to help you get to air faster. That sounds good to me. That sounds good to me. Okay, so let's put that thing... Like right here. Um, and let's put the medical here. We already have the scanner in. Oh, we need and we need the flashlight down there. Okay, so that's all of our stuff on our toolbar. Very good. All right, now let's go back to here and take a look at equipment again. So we don't really need the pipe or the floating air pump right now. That's not stuff we need right at the moment. Compass would would be nice, but I don't think we need that immediately. So, electronics. Let's make some copper wire. I know we're going to need it, so let's just make a couple things of copper wire. And let's make a couple more batteries, too, because we picked a lot of those ribbon plant things. Okay, and that uses up our copper ore. And we might as well turn all of the quartz that we have in the glass, because we'll need that, too. All right, very good. Now, let's go here. We need to find salt. Cured food. Yeah, we need to find salt deposits to make that stuff. Okay, so um, let's just cook up. I don't really want to cook bladder fish because we want to save those for water, even though we're actually doing pretty good on water. Okay. Now, let's eat that and that. We now have this nutrient block, though, um, in case we, you know, really get into trouble. Okay, so the table coral sample. To make the processor or the computer chip, we need... Oh, we need one more of those and we need some gold. Okay, so we need to find gold, silver, the sulfur stuff, and more silver for that in order to then make the repair tool well no we need crystalline sulfur to make the repair tool okay all right let's take a look and see how we're doing on storage i'm going to put all of this stuff in here we want to keep i think we want to keep battery force for you know our scanner and our flashlight oh the flare is useful for distracting predators interesting interesting indeed we should probably turn these other bladder fish into some more water but we can put the ribbon plants and the coral in there yeah that's good okay let's make some water with these bladder fish i think once we find salt we can make the better water uh too Okay, let's take a look. I think we're in good shape. Let's drink one of these right now. We have 100 water and 117 nutrition and plenty of space. And now we have some tools. Look at us and our bad selves. Okay, I'm going to save here. And guys, it is time to wrap up this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I am so going to have fun playing this. And I hope you guys have fun watching me play it. So... Yeah, we'll pick up right where we left off in the next episode. We're going to go out and continue gathering resources, go out a little bit further and a little bit deeper than we have before, because that's what you do in Subnautica. Uh, but I also want to go up on the surface and explore, you know, the, the land stuff, too, because that's that's all new and uh, looking forward to that. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. And uh, remember, or know, rather, that I do have a membership program here on the channel. So if you're interested, hit the join button. You'll see three different tiers of membership with different perks. And if that looks like something you'd like to be a part of, I'd love to have you as a member on the channel. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.